Afiet Bar. It apparently shows a husband hit his wife in the face with a cell phone. She strikes back, then grabs a wine glass, splashes him, and smashes the glass in his face. It's making news because up until last week, he was a captain in the Lafayette Police Department. Dwayne Prejean retired amid the criminal and internal investigation. Tonight, he's facing a domestic abuse battery charge. His wife, Allison Prejean, a Lafayette attorney, is facing an aggravated battery charge with a dangerous weapon. But tonight, more questions. Three's on the street. Justice Henderson is live outside LPD with more justice. Jim Marcel, that video you see from New Year's Eve questions tonight who knew what and when and why that video was leaked. Last Tuesday, it was brought to my attention that there was an incident uh, of domestic violence between Captain Prejean and his wife. Uh, I immediately started an investigation, both criminal and an uh, internal investigation. And that uh, criminal investigation has led to today's arrest. Of course. Although it happened more than three weeks ago, the investigation into what happened in this River Ranch bar coincides with the video's widespread release on social media. I was only aware of the incident last week, last Tuesday. And, um, and so we, there was no 911 call to my office that night of. So we really had no way of knowing that it occurred until last week. But once I did find out about it is when I started the investigation. So I don't, I don't see any courtesies extended at all uh, to Captain Prejean or his wife. Allison Prejean's law practice putting out a statement saying, the video does not define who Allison really is. She is a dedicated mother, a relentless advocate, and a dear friend of 20 years. Like many of us, she has made mistakes in life. Police Chief Toby Aguilar says he has no clue how the video got released to the public. Can you explain to me how the video got released to the public? That I do not know, except to say it did not come from the Lafayette Police Department. Managers at the bar where this all took place have declined to comment. Threes on the street live in Lafayette. Justice Henderson, KETC TV3. Tonight, Daisha Hargrave is still, have, still has people talking in Vermilion Parish. School board members met tonight for the first time since the arrest, and Hargrave returned to the Vermilion Parish School Board office, the same room where she was ruled out of order, removed, handcuffed, and then later arrested in a hallway. Since then, she's made international headlines. The school board president has resigned, and Hargrave has become the face of a movement, a movement that continued tonight. Danielle Garcia with this story. It's a story you 